here we go. So I finally got um finally got enough resources to go ahead and make a displacer kitten deck. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, exile to one target element permanent. Um, and we're playing this in an eight cast uh, shell. Uh, so it's a super easy to go. Uh, they call get get insane value because you have so many of the zero drops bouncing like your thought monitors every time you play a zero. Um, and then you have obviously the infinite combo with uh, Teferi. And you can either make a million uh, Thopters with Psy or you can... Uh, you know, draw through your deck and uh, find Karn to get uh, Ballista or uh, Lattice. So, uh, because you can like draw your whole deck, you can just go get like, you know, 10 mana between bubbles up and stop. And then also, this is like whenever you exile another permanent, right? So you can like float with an opal, play a bubble, untap it, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, deck seems cracked, so let's try it out. Let's try playing a real deck for once. I think they just play, uh, yeah, Urza Echo garbage. Look for him with like a fast Karn. Oh, Master, what's going on? Thank you for the resub. Hope you're doing well. I did not hear anything. Which is concerning. This thing's a pain in my ass. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep. Yeah, I'm gonna play some kittens though, huh? Maybe it's too slow. We have two redraws. It's always a problem. Like, I, you know what? Ever since... Is this like a turn one Kappa? What is this? Thought monitor? Sure. Um, sure, sure, sure. Bubbles are now a liability if they're on Breacher. Oh, uh, how about Displacer Kitten, huh? Let's play a bubble. Pedal. Their hand, there's two bad cards in it. Uh, I guess we just play a Saga then. I don't know why. Like, I test it before the stream, and it, like, tests okay. So, damn, of course I saw my Karn, which is, like, the only thing I don't want them to say. I can't play Karn next turn now. But... A Sigh... So they have seat, pedal, okay. So they have a seat in their hand and one unknown card. Alright. So if we play Karn and tick up, that would... Uh, that's pretty good. It's fine, I guess. Um... Hmm. It has to be just play Karn, right? They have one, two, three, four power only. I 
Like, the last card has to be exactly Hole Breacher. Oh, there's no way they just drew a Hole Breacher as their last card. That's unreal. Oh, are they just going to sack? Okay, I won't mind that. I won't mind that. That's fine. Okay, that's that. Oh, no, it's Echoing Truth. The one main deck, Echoing Truth. <laughs> The only reason I passed priority was because they have two mana for Psy. God, that worked out perfectly for them. That's unlucky. All right, I'm going to play a Chalice on zero. I feel like with card in hand, we're ahead, so... That's so unfortunate for us. No way they drew into Karn or Kappa. Unreal. I just can't. I just can't play Magic anymore. I genuinely just can't fucking play Magic. <laughs> oh my god! They hit a one of Echoing Truth and then top deck Karn. That's just something. God, and they were actually just like fucking dead, huh? I have to play my own card. So they attack card for four. God, Echoing Truth in the top deck Karn. It's brutal. That, like, there's no, there's no way I'm supposed to play around them having the, the one of Echoing Truth, I don't think. Now I can, let's see what they get here. They only have one mana. I don't think I'm supposed to play around one of Echoing Truth. Like, when they have this, exactly. They t they drew a <laughs> bad <that> artifact, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. A one of and a four of. Nothing I can get, right? I have to go get Needle with my Karn. I get Needle with my Karn, but then I can't do anything with it. God damn it. <laughs> Such an insane loss. And we're one one off of being able to play that. Yeah, because e even if I needle Karn, I'm just dead in in, in two attacks. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, God, that's so fucking unlucky. <laughs> I think we need to force negations just to battle Karn. True names are probably like they're gonna be able to re race with a Shadow Spear pretty quickly, so I don't think we want that. God, that's so frustrating. <laughs> uh... Try to stay positive after that fucking joke. Mm. 
This is why I don't play these decks. Just like draw so badly. All right, all in on Saga. They left chalices in, which is interesting. Do your son like a uh, hole reacher? They can't LED echo anymore. Ooh, do I force this? I don't think so. Let's see, one one artifact. Muxel will be two artifacts. Three, four, five, and then six, seven. Uh, so I'm definitely going to make a token. Is one of their two. Basically, is it, what I'm saying is one of their. Nah, I'm going to hold it for a Karn, I think. So I can still just play a Thought Monitor. Yeah, sure. And Emery. I left Needle in the board. Kind of have to force that. What a ridiculous start. What are they going to get? You know, I'm going to let it go. They can't play zeros, right? Yeah. I guess they could, like, Thought Monitor is the only thing they could hit, and they, they drew it, so. I guess that's on me. It was my whole creature. Okay. All right, if we get to untap, we might be able to salvage it. One, two artifacts, that's five. Don't matter is essentially the only thing they could have hit that mattered. In their whole deck, they only have zeros. Okay. Literally the only, yeah, so I'm glad I didn't force that. We're so smart. Do I want to hold up double force? Plus two, right? I think I was going to leave up uh, Hall Breacher Force. Oh, uh, I don't even know what they are, honestly. Hold on, let me see. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Because now this is lethal. Do you have to chump? Go to one. Oh, Straz with the raid. What's going on, dude?
Thank you for the following. Thanks for the follow there, Bean Zero. Um, I don't know what I want to get. I just realized this deck doesn't have a. Uh... I should have got Thought Monitor, I guess. But I just realized this deck doesn't have the. Yeah, Thought Monitor is a blue card for Force Negation. A hundred percent should have got Thought Monitor. Oops. Um. Straz Daddy getting a gift from Master. Thank you so much, Master. But my stupid sub thing. Everything else works except for my subs. It's so frustrating. Yeah, it should be coming up like this, and it's not. I have no idea why. Um, maybe I want Needle main deck because of Emery. Cut a zero. If they're going to aggressively play on zero, cutting Bubble actually seems to sign. What if we cut some bubbles for some true names? Yeah, I don't know if that's good, but let's try it. Yeah, I'm using Streamlabs, yeah. Uh, slow hand. The mullet. Uh, this hand seems a l just uh, just like the tiniest bit better. It has a force though, so it has a force and a kitten. Get rid of a bubble. Okay. And that's why we sided them out. Maybe I should have sided up more. <laughs> We're gonna be in trouble. We're gonna be in trouble. Cool. Cool chalice. Cool. Imagine if we draw another land, that'd be fucking insane. They didn't keep a card hand? Oh my god, we're so bad at this game. We're so fucking bad. They give us options, at least, to, like, recall them and try to, like, dump our hand. <sighs> no shot. Okay. I can't even get a Mox Opal here, huh? Mox Opal won't have Metalcraft. I can get like a Petal, but that seems so bad. It's awkward. Being stuck on one land is real awkward. And I don't have Metalcraft. I think I have to take a Mox Opal in case I draw... Because I draw land. Or I could just bobble to draw, but I think having a Mox Opal in play is better. I have like six artifact lands I could draw. I could get Petal Recall them. But then what? I only put Petal this out. It doesn't seem super good. Uh, Mox Opal is the best chance to have blue. I don't know. It's really tight. Yeah. It's tough. I think this is better. If, like, if I'm going to draw a land, which I need to draw anyway, then this is better, I think. Land. 
Oh my god, I'm so good. It's ridiculous. What a great, great play. Chalice on two. Mm. Okay. They are at ten life. Echo, sure. They might have LED. They might go for like LED Echo and then I can force negation it. That's good. That's really annoying. They had LED. <laughs> Damn, I guess they had better value than I did. This stops my recall, too. I do have Kitten next turn. And now I just fawn the uh, Echo. Getting rid of... I think it's recall. I think we're past that. Down there out of blue mana. They can't play any zeros. We have all two thought monitors. I think this favors us. I want to play Psy and get Thopters, but I think just putting Thought Monitor out is. I guess I can. It cost me my pedal, but then I can. Play Thought Monitor, it's probably worth it. Because that keeps Tefri alive now. All right, beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, sick. Yeah, we should we should be done here, I think. Um, yeah, we should be done here. Oh my god. I mean, they're only at six, right? With two ancient gems. I mean, <laughs> draw a card, sure. Jeez. Sick. Kitten did not matter at all. They are 0 and 3, yeah. That's what, yeah, you play Echoing Truth, that's what happens. All right. 
But yeah, hope everyone's doing okay on this hump day. Watch some Displacer Kit and see if this ever matters at all. I wonder if they cut their baubles? I don't think I saw baubles post word. Maybe you're, I could see you're supposed to cut baubles versus hole breacher. Crazy R15. Let's do some busted stuff, huh? Yeah, because what is it? Like, you play LED and that bounces Karn, you can crack LED, then you, like, uh, get Karn to get Crypt, which bounces it, and you target yourself, right? And you can basically just make infinite mana that way. This hand seems pretty slow. One, two, three. It has the combo, fast mana. I'd probably keep it if it had a thought cast. It's a little slow. Even slower, but I mean, sure. Opponent is tanking in their main phase. Tundra. Tundra Ponder. Doesn't make me think like a Jeskai controller stone blade or something. I'm gonna hang on to the bauble for Psy. Okay. That's actually not the worst. Yeah, really not the worst. Miss your land drop. Miss your land drop. Never lucky. I'm fine if this gets like dazed. We're gonna just keep running stuff out there. I don't want Psy to get dazed. Okay. Uh, do I want, how many artifacts is this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can actually make the Thumbmunder cross one if I leave this in play, so. But I guess if they slam a Narset, but they have Wasteland, what are the odds they have Narset? Maybe I want to draw four soil though. All right, I'll talk myself into it. Chalice, Chalice is nice. Maybe I want to get Chalice down before I play side to play around Plow. Does she, should I... Should we Chalice on one? I think that if we drew the, the Chalice, we should probably Chalice on one, right? To keep side protected. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. They might Tef bounce it, which isn't, which is one reason I didn't want to play Saga. Oh, is this the bad, con this is just control, right? 
This just a control deck, the the check pile. And now they're ending this. Okay. No, it's it's a bad version of it. Like instead of playing the one that always wins, they're playing something else. I think I'll force back here. <sighs> Playing no red, opting for green. Yeah, or wasteland. So it's probably like some pokey pile. Baffle Strix is not that annoying right now because we just have a Thopter that can attack. Oh, they have a Fem. Oh, Plow. What a weird. What a weird thing they did. Do I want to sack a land? Sorry, two artifacts? No, nah, I don't think I'm in the market to do that. Okay. Go. Which I gotta watch out for like Wither Bloom Command or something. Mystic Sanctuary got back plow. Cool. And Teferi into that. Okay. They only have one white mana though. Okay. Their mana base not looking impressive. I think I'm going to get, uh, I can get Shadow Spirit. I don't even care about Tef taking up, I don't think. Let's get Retrofitter. Let's get Retrofitter and Chalice on one. Actually, I don't even care. I'm going to go after them. Go ahead. Raska. God damn it. That's so irritating. <laughs> Something that can make jump blockers now. And they have Plow is the only card in hand. Okay. Where's my uh, companion, huh? Really wish I had a companion right now. I'm glad I have Retrofitter, I think. Okay. Draw step hit me when I actually drew it. <laughs> Not when I drew the pedal. That's so rude. Uh, attack both at Tef. <sighs> Just draw more brainstorms and stuff. Inquisition, him. Actually, I think here I want to make a, a 4-4. Four, four. Another him for my 
<laughs> this really did hit him, him when I hit Saga Saga. That's unlucky for me. Okay. Tap free down. Okay. And they can minus two to kill this, but then I still have four power, right? So. Do you want to play kitten? I guess, right? Hmm. Doesn't really do anything, right? Tundra on top. Probably won't save them. Alright, so it's just... The only green we saw was Grist. We can assume they have arrows. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, I'm gonna bring in some true names. Bring in waves that are uh, non-artifact to be able to attack. True name seems pretty good in this match. Uh... So I want a surgical. Whole bridge seems fine. Put your hair forward. Just cut your, cut your hair. And this song's good. Why isn't this on my playlist? Yeah, it's my first league with kittens, so I have to find out the best ways to utilize it. Should I cut forces versus the Tefri him deck? Seems like it's probably fine to cut them. Do you cut forces or chalices? It's probably one of the... It's either force or chalice. Which one do we cut? They don't have blast. So maybe chalice is worse. You can bring a needle. They have a couple planeswalkers. No, let's try this. I'm not really sure. My first league with it, so let's learn. Let's learn how to play this deck. Hap's already teaching me. I think I'm going to keep this. I think Inquisition would be irritating. Okay, cool. Because we have, we're going to be able to make a token on turn two, so I think it's worth doing. It's also a pretty good draw. Uh, if they ending, I think I'm going to let it go because I think they're going to waste this anyway. I mean, I'm supposed to force this, pitching my Teth. Yeah, maybe I am. They have another ending that's just bad beats. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, I was going to say you got me. Like, if you have a double ending. It's an aggressive force, but I think we have an aggressive start, so it's worth doing. Oh, look at that. I can't do anything with this right now, right? No. Uh, 
Okay. Doesn't matter, right? Servo? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, no, I have to get max value. Um, Pithing Needle on Tef, I think. I can get a Lotus Petal. I might want the mana, I guess. But Pithy Needle on Tef seems really good, because like, if they block one, bounce the other one, I'm pretty far behind. Yeah, I'm gonna name Teferi. Cool. Just hope, just hope this isn't like a Seeds of Innocence, I guess. Or, oh, okay. Okay, we, we, we take those. I think we take those. I would have preferred a land, I think. See if True Name can get there. Marsh of Otherworldly Light on my needle, and then they have a Tef. Oh, that's so frustrating. They get to bounce their Plague Engineer. What? They just missed a great line, right? Just bounce Plague Engineer. I could play Psy using all my resources. It's probably worth it since this is on servo. Okay, arrow. Arrow will be a pain to beat. Oh my god, and they had land, land. Okay, Arrow's gonna be annoying. One of the benefits of this deck, at least, is that we can somehow get a, you know, get something like going with the Displacer Kittens. We gotta rip like an Ancient Tomb off the top, I suppose, would be a start. Now they can even like Mystic Sanctuary back like Force of Vigor. Damn. Land Land Arrows, the last cards are gonna be a tough one. We have outs, we have outs, but I'm getting for two damage here, yeah, it's pretty free. Ancient Den. All right, get Tef off the table. No big deal, just down. Rough. I can sack like retrofitter since it's not doing anything and I guess opal I guess Yeah, they didn't do that last turn, which was very weird. And now they're doing it, though. 
get to hit both my lands. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't have boarded any like any different. Uh, the only thing I could board in was surgical for just just that. But all their hymns are always piled in the middle of their deck. I mean, realistically, I can't win, right? So. Maybe I do want Surgical, since, like, True Name is one of the only ways, I mean, uh, Ur is one of the only ways we could lose. And now they probably, True Name looked pretty bad. Fluster, maybe, for him and Vigor. But yeah, I think Force Will is better than Chalice, now that we see they have Force of Vigor. Three mocks up we'll saw. God damn it. <laughs> Just so fucking unfortunate. Just so unfortunate. One, two, three artifacts. This cost four. Pass, I guess. I Maybe mean, I should have played. If this gets wasted, it's so bad for me, though. All right, thought monitor. Okay. Flooded strand revealed. Okay. Try to dig us out of this. See if we can dig our way out with some fair affinity cards. Plow, oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Now I'm supposed to play this, just attack a Tefri. They're going to have Tefri, aren't they? It feels so bad when you have a Psy that could draw a card with your Mox. And then... Oh no. Oh, Leobold, okay. That's fine. Oh my god, I thought about surgicaling plow. But I really need to save it for Uro. Maybe I was supposed to sack two. Okay. What do they have? One Force of Vigor, one Loam, one Wasteland, two Tefts, two Plague Engineers. Okay. 
So what's their way to win? Mostly just that. So we just have to fade. We can get Pith Needle and be cheeky, name Misty. Mm. Is that worth it? Maybe. They don't have double green, sure. They don't have a Seeds of Innocence or anything, so I'm going to make another one right now. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to lose a pedal, right? So, yeah, it's the same. Thought cast on top, which won't do anything. Okay. March. Ending, ending, okay. Still gonna have two more tokens to deal with here, so. We have one card left. Um, I guess Retrofitter. Take eight, go. Him, <laughs> sure. Okay, cool. All right, got the kitties. Let's go. Are you supposed to saga first? Saga ancient tomb or play a sai? I feel like playing sai probably has more upside. Though I'm using my only blue mana then. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with Saga. She's kite sail freebooter, huh? Alright, it's like humans. That card won't have text. I guess I can chalice on one who stops ether vial exactly. Mm. Or I place just play a sigh out. Gets beat by Caracas pretty hard. Uh, playing size seems pretty good. 
This is a one four. Maybe they wasteland me. Okay, that's fine. All right, cool. Stop any ether vials. Kite sail will take my force of will. Three unclaimed territories. All right, this match we get Shadow Spear. I'm fairly confident. Get our life back up to 20. Blue, blue, human, barren? Yeah, it's annoying. It's a little annoying. It's an attack probably, right? All right, versus humans. Uh, chalices seem awful. True names seem like they might have text. Pitting needle for wasteland. Mm. We don't have, like dismember anything. Bring in a walking ballista. We only have one Karn, so. On a beautiful day. So what are we scared of? A couple meddling mages, Cathar Commando. And we'll be in the pool. Um, you keep giving me a saga. I'm gonna keep playing it. They have vial. Vial's so fucking broken. See what they got here. Champion, sure. Dahlia. Yep. Okay. So we, we do have Needle in the deck, so we can Needle Aether Vial off Saga. It's annoying. Hopefully it's not like Magus of the Moon, exactly. Okay. 
Vigilance. And whenever you attack for each opponent, so you just get like a 1-1. One, one. Okay, that's fine. That's a pretty sick combo, I'm not going to lie. Kite sail that gets to take a bubble, sure. This makes a lot of blockers. Uh, this is probably still better though. Mm. Is it worth losing? Probably. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, what about that, yeah? Yeah, equip, yeah, yeah. Then we get the untap Psy, make a bunch of tokens. This lifelink is going to be a lot. Oh, oh, oh I got you, I got you. No, no, no. Uh, do I want to kill this? I can just kill this, right? I could do this. Which seems fine. Like, even if they Thalia's Lieutenant. And they don't have tramples, so now I just attack with this. I got choppers for days. All right, there are two. We will go back up to 15. <laughs> that makes it easy. Mm. 
Yeah, right? Plus one for each heart effect. Give it a cranial plating effect. What about Death Touch? That's what, um, I don't know if you guys played in, uh, Standard with Scars of Mirrodin. You would have, like, Prime, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Worm Coil Engine, Prime Time, Kessig Wolf Run. You, like, Kessig Wolf Run your Worm Coil Engine and be, like, Assign One, Trample Over, Gain a Million. It's <laughs> so nasty. People do not want to battle this. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. Dr. Dick Forrest, huh? Yurian. Most of the Yurian I've been seeing is, uh, Most of the urine I've been seeing is not death in taxes recently. We have parts of a combo. <laughs> we do have parts of a combo. Let's do that. And they are not on death and taxes. Unsurprising. Hmm, one, two, three artifacts, so this costs four. Or I could jam Tef. That gets countered, it's pretty bad. Right, it's cost three, it costs four. No. I'd rather, oops. All right, so they have Savannah in hand. Cool. That's really good. Nah, nah. Library. Living Wish. Oh, it's a uh, Lurin. So we just need a zero, right? If we draw zero, we win. We have like a redraw with that. Okay. That does it right to zero. So we just play Tef first. Um, draw nothing. Draw 
Backup Tef doesn't suck. I was like, the only way we're in trouble is they have ending and a learn in hand. What are the odds they have ending and a learn? The question is, do I chalice on one to stop them from cantripping? I think the answer is no. Because if they cantrip, they can't play it in the same turn anyway. So, If a Yurion deck really has it, then... If a Yurion deck has Force, Living Wish, Ending, and a Learn in their first 10 cards, then... Looks like it. God, that's so fucking unfortunate. <laughs> it's just so unfortunate. Oh, man. I think we played it right. Like, I think we played it right. Just really unlucky. Damn, that's... <laughs> sure. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um. Yep. Sometimes jury on decks just have it. Damn, it sucks. Yeah, no, sometimes you lose. It's just like losing to like four specific cards in a Yorion deck. <laughs> it's like if I got oops and I don't have force, it's like, well, yeah, I mean, that, that happened. But like, oh, man, just got to roll with it. Like a Yorian deck having Force, Living Wish, Ending, and a Learn, just keep. Alright, we're going to go on a Saga Beatdown with Force and hope it's good enough. No, at sorcery speed. So in their main phase, they just play Asterak and it bounces. They just can't do it like in response to removal. Hmm. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, it, like their main phase, they cast it for free. Like, you can still cast. You can still use all casting costs, just with nothing on the stack. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to pop that yet. No, when it enters the battlefield, you venture. Because it's, because it's the ETB, they bounce and venture. This is what I think I want to force of negation. Because this can get a, uh, a win con or it can get a collector, which seems irritating. Yeah, these Yorian decks are, are quite good. They're quite good when you have Living Wish and Forest on turn two. Kataki. Getting a fucking Kataki. Awesome. That's so awesome. Uh, do I want to even make a token here? I can get a bubble with this. I probably don't even want to make a token, right? Do I want to make a token? I have four forces I can draw, and I have one, two, three, and I get a bubble, four rips at it. I could bubble them to try to... Yeah, it's gonna. That's why I wanted the force negation, the wish. You know what I mean? I can't believe you know. Isn't Oof better? Oof seems better, but um, it's gonna be good here. I mean, because I could just pay for itself. Yeah, Oof, Oof, I'd just be. Yeah, so I, I could. They could just pay for themselves. Um, like pay like this pays for that. This pays, and then I have two lands left. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna yeah, I'm gonna float over mana then. Let's get a bubble. Mm. Abrupt decay. Oh yeah, I missed a damage, huh? I missed I missed one damage. If I lose when they're at one life, it's because I messed up, so. And they're drawing Pernicious Deed? How do they fit all this in their their, their, their Yoria deck and draw it all? Holy shit. <laughs> That's a good Yoria deck. Okay. The thing is, even if you force one, they have, they have all this other stuff. They have so much stuff. I mean, I think I just force pernicious deed, but leave. I would let Kataki resolve. Yeah, so I'll force this. Because that costs zero and blows up my land too. Yeah, we know two cards in their hand. And they aren't particularly good. Alright, let's get in for six. They have two cards in hand. I 
I, I mean, that's what it feels like a little bit. It feels like the tiniest bit. And they have a decay, which they'll decay here. It's fine. Uh, okay, so we have Thought Monitor. This. And then uh, decay my construct. This is lethal in one turn then. I thought monitor is lethal. I missed one life, right? Yeah. Hey. Put Yurion in hand, okay. The last card of Plow? There's no way the last... Get out of here. Get out of here, you have D, Decay, Plow. Okay. Uh... Get a bubble. So this can bounce. This can bounce Yurion, so I'm just going to take up. So they have Swamp, Yurion, Unknown. All right. Woo. Woo. This is a tough one. This is a fucking tough one, man. <laughs> like, I'm glad we cut Chalices versus a Pernicious Deed deck, I guess. Um, Needle for Pernicious Deed, I guess. Yeah, the one didn't matter, thank God. But yeah, that was... I literally, right after I cracked the ball, I'm like, wait a second. I told myself not to do that. <laughs> Cut one side, I think, versus the Katakis and stuff. Okay. Jeez, though. Pernicious Deed. Kataki. Well, I have to keep this. I have to draw a blue card, but I have a, a Saga that could be... I have a Canonist, which is like one of my very few ways to interact. <laughs> I hate it so much when uh, like Yurion decks have a Mana Dork on turn one. There's just something about it that just irks the shit out of me. I'm naming Teferi here. The blue card is nice. It's nice when you're comboing with Kitten, you could like chain you could bounce this when you're going off, so <laughs> I guess this shuts off my force though, right? But there's no way I'm forcing it. I mean, there's no way I'm forcing it. <laughs> you ever get that feeling where, like, everything you do is just wrong?
I gotta get this fucking Tef off the board. Yeah, I mean, I'll have it when I untap. Oh my god, and they get the... <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean... The Yorian deck just has it, what can I say? It's <laughs> just kind of nuts. Uh, <laughs> just the rubbins of drawing a force of like a force negation after this resolves and then drawing another card I can't cast is just chef's kiss, honestly. This is just, it's really just like chef's kiss the way we're losing. No better way to lose a trophy than to, uh... Into the Urian deck. Yeah, the, I, I've tried playing this and I just always lost. And yeah, and they have a main deck oof also. That tracks. That tracks. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's not, I mean. Because mm, I, I, I topped like that. So even if I force pitching this. My hand would just be this. So I guess it wouldn't be too much different. Oh fuck off. Oh my god. Like, honestly, why? I, it's just like, you know, there's, there's there's times when you're just not meant to win. It's just like not meant to fucking win. When the Yorian deck draws their pernicious deed in the top 15 cards each game. Oh, man. Yeah, there goes the trophy. What a shitty way to lose it. That game one was, honestly, like, that That game, even if I forced tap, it doesn't change anything, because I lost my Thought Monitor, and they drew Pernicious Deed anyway, so. Oh, man. Just, sometimes the Yurion deck finds, you know, their sideboard cards, and you die. And not too bad, not too bad. Let's finish this up. I'll keep. Like, four redraws and a chalice. Seems fine. All right, well, last league, uh, last match of the night, everyone. Hope you all had a good time. And if you're new here, definitely follow this stream. It'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool if you did. Vesuva. Chalice. Karn. <laughs> These are all cards we can't beat. What the fuck is that? What? <laughs> like, literally everything we can't beat. Oh, man. And they have Ancient Tomb for Karn, huh? They don't chalice on zero either. Okay. 
unfucking believable. <laughs> it's so fucking sick. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sick. Jeez, double Karn. Double Karn and nine cards. Damn. They ticked up? No way that's right. Do they have a third Karn? Why else would they do that? They have to have a third Karn. I guess we just get a bubble. Warping well. Saga, okay. I mean, they're dead on board. I guess they could take two and make a chump blocker. I mean, yeah, yeah, they, they, they'll just, they, they get chump, but then I don't know how they're winning. Okay. Well, that was, un <laughs> that was really fortunate for us. Holy shit. Um, I guess we want Pith Needle for Karn. Cut a zero drop in case they chalice us in zero. Maybe even bring in a Hercules. All right. If we close with a 4-1 with my first ever Kitten League and our only loss was to Pernicious Deed <laughs> out of a Yorion deck, it would just be very appropriate. Uh, this hand is pretty weak. Much better. I think I go to Tef here. Mm. Tef's going to be really hard to cast. Yeah, that's why I cut some zeros. Maybe I'm supposed to put some zeros back. It's tough. I mean, if they have Chalice, then Chalice, Chalice, one of those Chalice card hands, we don't have Force. Yeah, that's a really good start for them. Really good start. I did board in Hercules and stuff, right? Yeah. It's going to be tough to beat. They go like Cloud Post and then have a card next turn. It's basically the same thing. Okay. Okay. We can stay alive for a turn. But I don't know how we're actually winning. Oh, this is Eldrazi? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not countering that. Okay. Uh, Lotus Petal Psy, I think. We'll just see how this works. How about a seat of the Synod, huh? How about a seat of the Synod one time? A 
cut two zeros. Now I'm supposed to cut more than that. The fuck is this? Oblivion sower? Wow, there's my seat of the cyanide I needed. Uh, do I force this? I don't think so. It's just a five, right? Like, it doesn't have trample or anything, so just block. Ancient Den. Not quite a seat of the cyanide, but. You know. Why couldn't these be reversed? <laughs> Give me that back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, they topped the Caracas. Boo. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right. Probably dead here. Yeah. I mean. I guess I could take like two more draw steps, I guess, because we have force. If I draw exactly, if they have nothing and I draw Seed of the Synod, we have a shot. Okay. Now we're good. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's just have force for their chalice this game, I guess. Or draw Hercules. Mm. Yeah, I mean, all right, let's finish out the stream. Let's see if we get the 4 1 or the pity chest. I mean, we don't play this to not keep this hand. So, Saga Double Force. Is Saga Double Force good enough? We'll not force a chalice. I will force a spyglass. Chalice is fine. Okay. And they have Ancient Tomb, which is going to do them a bunch of damage. Okay. Your turn. All in on Saga, baby. Let's go. Okay. All right. We're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, retrofitter. Go. All right. Saga Force Will. Saga Force Will, and we're done here. Cool. Four one. No, do not win any games with Kitten. <laughs> do not win one, one, one game at all. Uh, but this deck was really interesting and I want to try it again. Screenshot this bad boy. Um, but the deck, the deck felt good. The deck felt good. It was nice having Tef. The one Karn felt fine. Um, yeah, our only loss was the pernicious deeds. <laughs> the pernicious deed, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know what? Because everyone's playing Pyroblast, that's why I like it in the Chalice Shell. You know what I mean? 
because you could you could protect it from that. You know, you're not like uh, and you can also play it quicker because of anti tomb and pedal. You know, so I like it a little more, I think, than the Jeskai decks. But you, like, I agree. You, you could be right, 100%. So. All right, well, I'm, I'm calling it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm beat. It's late. Uh, so let's hit up Mr. Lee. I see he is, uh, he is streaming. So everyone have a great night. Uh, follow if you're new here. Check out my YouTube, yada, yada, yada. Everything is great. Arkin, uh, Jedum, thanks everyone for hanging out. Appreciate it. And I'm going to play this again, for sure.